one week out now from our first race in the Louis Vuitton Challenger Selection Series against Luna Rossa and you know we've been focused on on this point for a long time now and uh, you know, I think the landscape's changed quite dramatically since we uh, you know, was even a year ago when we're expecting to be lining up with you know both the other challengers on the start line and uh, you know sort of working hard for every point well you know, it's, uh, it's not quite the way it is, but we have to adapt. And, uh, and this has been a, a key part of the team all the way through, has been able to adapt to different challenges. You know, it's, uh, it's hard to believe that you know, we're this close to racing and we're still having to deal with you know, different uh, rules issues, but in the end, this is the America's Cup and, uh, and things like this do happen. So um, you know, we're staying very uh, positive about it all. We know there'll be a resolution. And uh, you know we're very focused now on just going out and uh, getting into the racing. Well, I think the boat's in very good condition. Uh, we've still got a lot we need to do to to feel that we're ready to to go into the the knockout stages. But yeah, in general, I think um, you know the the team is in you know, very good spirits, and I think you know, we're in good shape to kick off the racing. Well, San Francisco Bay poses plenty of challenges with currents, winds, and, uh, and understanding all of that. And you know, one of the key things that we needed to do when we got here was try to improve our local knowledge or understanding of the, the bay, the venue, and the race course. And I think we've we've done a pretty good job with that. But until you end up with another boat on the course at the same time, it's you know, you're still you know, you're still a little bit of guesswork there. You know, the more we sail on the bay and the conditions that we seem to get here a lot of the time. Yeah, being able to, uh, to execute manoeuvres consistently well across a uh, range of conditions is it's worth hundreds and hundreds of metres. So if you can you know, continue to uh, or continue to improve that, to, uh, you know, as you say, pull off a few falling jibes here and there, well, you know, it's all uh, it's all pretty good in terms of getting around the course quicker. But you know, in the end, it's consistency. So if we can uh, do our manoeuvres consistently well, then uh, that'll be a, a big bonus uh, come race time. It is time now to go racing and we're look, you know, really looking forward to it.